Breaking news coming in regarding the election commission. The election commission is all set to announce its poll dates for three states all in the northeast. Meghalaya, Tripura and Nagaland. Uh, Tripura is ruled, remember, by the BJP. The other two, uh, the BJP is part of the ruling coalition. The poll dates are going to be announced at 2.30 p.m. today. That's the notification that we're getting. Let's take a very quick look at the poll dynamics in the three states till we wait for a reporter. In Tripura, you have 60 seats. 20 are dominated by the tribals. In 2018, the BJP won 33 of those seats. Uh, let's very quickly go over to my colleague, uh, Shireen. Shireen, I was just bringing our audiences a quick rundown of Tripura in particular, but we know Meghalaya and Nagaland will also be seeing polls. We were telling our audiences uh, that the BJP is in power in Tripura. In the other two, the BJP is part of the ruling coalition. Quickly, could you just tell us more about the poll date announcement, please? Well, today it is around, around 2.30 when the election commission is going to announce the uh, dates for uh, the assembly election. Now, these are three northeastern states, Nagaland, Meghalaya and Tripura, which the dates will be announced today at 2.30 p.m. Now, uh, remember, uh, in this year it says there are going to be nine states that are going to uh, for, for assembly elections. Now, these three are going to be announced today itself. Uh, later, of course, we are going to see whether there are about uh, uh, two southern states, Telangana, Rajasthan as well. Apart from that, there is, in fact, uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh. These states, of course, will be later because their tenure, their assembly tenure is still going on. But whereas uh, these three northeastern states are concerned, Nagaland, Meghalaya and Tripura, their tenure, assembly tenure is, in fact, coming to an end. And that is why the election commission is going to announce uh, the poll dates today at 2.30 p.m. So uh, once the poll dates are announced, uh, the model code of conduct comes in place. And uh, uh, of course, we also know that the election commission is planning the remote voting uh, mechanism as well. But will that, in fact, be initiated in this particular election is going to be, to, uh, going to be very crucial because we have seen how the opposition parties have, in fact, said no to the remote voting machine. Uh, so whether uh, migrant laborers and students the, the mechanism, the, the prototype that Election Commission has in fact come up with, whether that will be used in this particular election is something that you have to wait and watch for because 2.30 is when the date will be announced. Apart from that, what are the, uh, in fact the campaigning timing, all these will be announced by the Election Commission today at 2.30 p.m. Okay, all right. Shireen, thank you for bringing us those details. As my colleague Shireen was saying, that announcement will come at 2.30 p.m. today. Uh, Shireen, are you still with us? Could I ask you one more question? Are you still there? Yes, yes. All right, Shireen, uh, if I could very quickly ask you, we were giving our audiences a summary of the situation in Tripura. Uh, I know also, as we've just told our audiences, Meghalaya and Nagaland uh, will also have their dates announced. In Nagaland, is there any clarity on the Naga peace talks, which we know have been a big issue in the past? You know, they're going to be another big issue this time. Do we have any updates? Of course, Naga Peace Accord is going to be something very crucial. Uh, though uh, the, uh, the BJP maintains that the, uh, the talks are still on, uh, but whether it has, in fact, uh, how much has it has reached, the Naga Peace Accord, uh, has it really reached to a conclusion? Uh, has it been signed accordingly? Uh, all these, are, of course, are still awaited. Yeah, okay. uh, for the information is still awaited. Shireen, but of just course, stay with us for a second. My colleague Kamalika is with us too, so we can also go over to her for the same question. Kamalika, uh, Shireen was just telling us all about the poll date. She was also telling us about uh, the situation in each state right now. And we were just getting to Nagaland and I, I just wanted to ask you too if you could tell us there doesn't seem to be clarity on the Naga peace talks. Could you tell us more? Yeah, absolutely. As Shirin was also pointing it out, this is not a very clear area and this is where, you know, the vote will take place. The ENPO, they have already uh, stated that they might boycott the polls. So in such a situation in Nagaland, the peace talks is a very big issue. What happens uh, thereafter, that is to be seen after the election is declared already. The EC has visited these three uh, states and Nagaland also, and they have said that they'll be doing the election peacefully, properly. But this demand is there and how that will be actually handled, that is to be seen. So yeah. this is one thing on Nagaland, but obviously Tripura and Meghalaya are also very important. Tripura BJP government is there in 2018. Uh, after 25 years of left rule, BJP came to power. Last year, they changed the chief minister, Club Dev from Manik Shah. There, this is the first time where we will see that our tribe was left in Congress. 
they have tied up together they are going to fight together against bjp just just stay with us kamalika for a second i just to that exact point just stay with us i want to take that point over to our colleague pallavi who's with us to pallavi kamalika was just pointing out a striking feature for tripura's elections is going to be that the left and the congress which have been arch rivals in the past have decided to come together to fight the bjp it's happened in bengal in 2016 uh, could you tell us more about what it could look like I mean, you know, these are the three states, the northeast, northeastern states, and you know, one had a tendency till quite some time back to dismiss them off as elections in very small states which are not politically significant. I think that political landscape has completely changed. Uh, it's a high stake, I would say, particularly even for the BJP and the Trinamool Congress. Because the Trinamool Congress certainly would want to make inroads. The earlier attempts to move out of Bengal, trying to project themselves as a national party, met with Kropper in Goa, where they got zero seats over there. So the national ambitions of the Trinamool Congress or Mamata Banerjee completely received a huge setback. I think she realizes that Tripura, Meghalaya offers a better opportunity, largely because of the. Uh, the, the the whole uh, biography there, the geography there, and the kind of a landscape over there, which is more akin to a Bengali culture. And in that sense, I think she would want the Congress, uh, the Trinamool Congress, certainly to do very, very well in Tripura and Meghalaya, which is why, as even Kamalika has been reporting, we have been seeing her going out and about, about campaigning there. Abhishek Banerjee, for example, also making Tripura, Meghalaya, also one of his important political. Uh, battlegrounds uh, i think the aim of the opposition party that this is going to be yet another test for opposition parties is to try and keep the bjp away especially mm. in the northeast because not it is also considered to be a door to east and pretty much a part of that narrative that the bjp is something which can have its footprint across the country i mean who would have thought a few years back that the bjp could have had a footprint in the northeast right. states well they have it right the the congress used to be the linchpin at one point for the northeast it's it's time right now for a short break on the other side we will return with more of the country's top stories we'll see you in just a few minutes you're watching the morning news